Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. A lot of people in the world can't find no chillings hiding. But who got them 10 whole pounds of chillings? It's me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, run on that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, well, to this great, 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 great family, now that you're part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day to help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, Come in like a share and come take for the team. Come in like a share and come take for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come like a share. Okay, you got checks out. We're going to pray. We're going to get to the good days. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over to the side. Just been this here. He's here. Y'all know just been as easy to travel with, so he's here with us today. He's full of Diet Coke, honey, because we finna get the eating, y'all. Let's see if he's not refreshing. Ah, he is. I know y'all, let me adjust the lights just a tad bit here. Gets a little more light up here, honey. Okay, we also got my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look way up top of the screen, in blue. Hit that link, and right there, you can get your lips hot sauce. Hey. And your lips merge. Okay, you guys, today for the food. You see, you see, y'all, we got us 10 pounds of chitterlings. 10 pounds of chitterlings, y'all. And we got us some coleslaw. I was going to do some other stuff. But, honey, you know, I told y'all I learned last year that chitterlings and coleslaw are absolutely delicious together by themselves. So that's what we got. We're gonna put us plenty of hot sauce on them, baby. We got our tray down there so I can give you some. Hold up. Everybody don't like hot sauce. On, well, then you, you, you're gonna be mad today because I gotta give me some hot sauce over y'all. For real, for real, for real. Y'all, this is our first time having chillings for the season, honey. The hot sauce is nice and thick and everything and all of that and all of that. Here we go. Because some people gonna want Ishka hot sauce. Ooh, there they go, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There they go. There they go, there they go, there they go. There your first bite of chitlins. There they go, y'all. Oh, 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 oh y'all, I know it's supposed to be good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, sir. Mm, mm. Mm. Y'all, it's time to eat chillings. Mm -hmm. It's time to eat chillings, y'all. This is 10 pounds for him. Mm-hmm. 10 pounds of chillings. And cold salt, honey. Mm-hmm. 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 Good law, good meat, good bread. Let's eat. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Chillings. Chillings. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all can wait. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can wait. Mm-hmm. They were clean, soaked overnight. And I got up early this morning. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. About 8, 8 30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Now I put them just on slow boil hang. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Baby now. Mm. We're gonna get full of chillings. Mm hmm. I know some of y'all ain't been fine. Y'all know chillings. 
I'm sorry for you. I really am. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sorry for you, honey. God, who got this on chillings? It's me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Production coming home today. Off his job, honey. Let's give him a nice bowl of chillings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chillings. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know a lot of y'all say the chillings in y'all area. They're twenty six, twenty seven dollars a bag. Mm-hmm. The uh, best is they were like twenty four dollars a bag where I got these from. But these are my favorite, these are IBPs. Well, Uncle Lou's is my favorite. Mm -hmm. But I think we all grew up eating IVPs in that red bucket. Mm-hmm. Chilling with number cold sauce. Somebody told me that. I don't know, a couple years back. And I never did try it. I just kept on, you know, making a full course meal out of the chillings, you know, with this and that, this and that, this and that. And I decided one day I was going to try it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Chillings marry perfectly with cold sauce. But, uh, you don't need nothing now. Mm-hmm. I wanted a few jalapenos, but they had them big old wax side jalapenos at the store. And I didn't want to eat that. That'd be too big. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, somebody told me yesterday, when they had their chickens in the pot, I told them, me too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's chilling season. Mm. It's cool outside. It's time to eat chilling. Mm-hmm. And y'all know, we get out to the end on this channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. We get out to the end on this channel. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Y'all love chillings. They're just good. I know a lot of people don't eat them. For whatever reason why they don't eat them, honey. Well, I'm going to say why I eat them. Because they're good. Mm-hmm. Because they're good. Mm-hmm. 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 Let me slow down, y'all. Let me slow down, y'all. Slow down, slow down. Mm, 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 mm. Let me slow down. Y'all, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I love chillings. Mm. I tell you before. Mm, 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 mm. Thanksgiving. Anytime of year. In a black household, baby, you got your children. Mm-hmm. You got your children. If you don't went through all the work of cleaning them, soaking them, cooking them, seasoning them, getting them right, honey, you got your children. Mm-hmm. You don't invite the neighbor <coughs> or otherwise over to your house for children. You sure enough don't now, because they so high. Mm-hmm. It was all about the work when they would cheat. Because you take a lot of work for chilling. But bam, bam. Mm-hmm. Now they $15 for five pounds. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-mm. You ain't buying nobody off the tell us. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. When I was growing up, mm-hmm. I didn't realize when I was growing up all the way. Until I got grown. And you go to people's houses. The one thing Hang with on top of stone. It's gonna be chillers. Folks gonna have their chillers tucked away in the fridge in the fridge down, honey. Mm-hmm. And hubby say in the fridge down. Mm-hmm. They gonna have their chillers tucked. Mm-hmm. They gonna use some chillers. They gonna launch you some lounge you some out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if I can let you attack they pot of chillers. No. Mm-mm. Nobody I know is not finished to protect their power children. I'll give you a spoon or two, baby. You know. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I'm trying to slow down. I really, really am. I'm trying to slow down, but they're so good. I ain't had none this year. Mm. I'm trying to slow down, y'all. But. Mm. I love chillings. I do. I love chillings. I love them. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't eat it bad chillings now. Mm -mm. I know people, even in my own family, that swear by, you know, you go to the restaurant or particular places and buy chillings already cooked. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can't uh -uh. Nope. I, I can't do it now. I ain't knocking nobody up for what they do, but I can't do it. I got to be able to see. First of all, I ain't eating no chillings in production don't clean them. That's the first thing. Mm-mm. I don't want them. I don't care who cook them. I don't care. Uh -uh. Unless I can see them clean them. Mm-mm. I know production gonna clean them. I do. I don't eat that. I don't eat folks' chillings. Mm-mm. I really don't, y'all. That's just true. I don't eat my own family chillings. Mm-mm. Nope. Now that's something that when they being clean. Mm-mm. I don't want your chillings. I don't want them. I really don't. I don't want them. Well, I love chillings. But I don't want your children. Nope. Now that's something that why they're being cleaned. And washed. And washed. And washed. Mm -mm. A lot of folks don't know how to clean children. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you must around to set your mouth down from children, time. Hmm. Because like when you go to eat them, if they ain't clean right, it's too late. Or run you gonna set your mouth down on this too late, huh? Mm-mm. I don't want your chillings. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Now, as much as I love chillings. Mm-hmm. I don't want your chillings. Mm-mm. 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 Oh, give me y'all. That's a hot sauce. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't want your children, son. I just don't. I would never eat children out of a restaurant. I have a hard time eating hog miles out of a restaurant. But I definitely, I ain't no children. Nope. Mm-mm. I'm so sorry for those of y'all that can't find no children or they too high to buy. I really am. Because they are quite expensive now. They really are. They're quite expensive. And chili used to be the cheapest thing in the store. For real. You get a big old, that big old red bucket of chili back in the day. Three, four, five dollars at the most. That red bucket, I seen it last night. That red bucket is $22. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I left it with one. $22. Like then you gotta clean them 
Damien pre cleaning the name. Nah, mm. I can't do that one. Twenty two dollars. Mm -mm. That's just too much. They were too much for these. But at least they're pretty clean. You know, you still got to clean them well. But at least, you know, they helped you some. You know, I know a lot of people. You know, I have seen people take chillers out of the pack, a bucket, wherever you, wherever they at. Um, and put them up in water and just clean them, you know, like you do greens or something, and clean chillers and clean chillers. I don't care how many times you clean them like that. If you don't strip that lining out of there and don't do something of that sort to clean them chillers, baby, I don't know, baby, you eat, you eat chillers this time next year, honey. I'm not eating a bite. Mm -mm. And because if you don't clean chillers good, you can't hardly stay in the, stay in the house and let nobody cook them. Mm-mm, no, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, anyhow. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? As y'all can see, I'm doing quite well. I'm doing quite well, huh? Mm-hmm. Then, I remember questioning about shooting the video because I knew I was going to get over here and eat too many of these children. Oh, excuse me. I saw that. Don't worry about it. I knew I was gonna go up here, y'all, and eat too many of these children. I really did. Mm hmm. Well, I ain't had none. Mm hmm. I love children too. I love them. Mm hmm. I just love them. Like I said, deal with 10 whole pounds, huh? I can't eat no whole 10 pounds. Uh uh. Blood pressure be on 97. For real. It'll send your blood pressure through the roof. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat my shit off. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I'm going to do that. They're getting a little cold now. I need to heat them. Oh, that's the hot sauce gathering down in there, honey. Like, getting a little cold now. That's the fan. I don't know where it is. Y'all, I'm eating them. They ain't cold in my mouth. But over here on the side. Y'all know if y'all eat shit. Y'all know how it go. Mm-hmm. I knew I was going to eat a lot of them, though. But I asked y'all how y'all was doing today. How y'all doing? Mm -hmm. I told you I'm doing quite well. Um, woke up this morning. Um, so, somewhat of a... I don't know. I tell y'all, every single time I come home, something happens. To remind me of the inbred racism still in this area. That happens every time. I really love. I really love. And you know, I just, I just pray for the world, but I just don't understand when people. I'm going to get to the point where I understand that there's nothing about the way that you look or the color of your skin or whom you are that makes you less than another person on this earth. That's just so crazy. I mean, it makes me so mad when my own nieces and nephews and my own family are entangled in such things. You know, they've been taught well. You know, don't you start then. You know, but you definitely, if another person started, you definitely finish it. You know what I mean? And, uh, one well, of my nieces ran into a, a racist situation yesterday. Mm hmm. Where she was called a monkey. You know, physically, um, not hurt, but the person physically put their hands on her. Hi. And her and her friend mocked him. <laughs> hey! Huh? Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. You know? Calling your name is one thing. I mean, you know, I never do. 
you know, because there's always a potential when you're dealing with violence in any kind of way or any type of physical confrontation when it's physical, there's a chance that you can get hurt. Um, but, um, you know, you just ain't gonna be letting nobody just like, you know, you know, you know. So yeah, I ain't gonna say that I'm happy um, because I wish that she was in the situation at all. But at the same time, you did what you need to do. You know? I just can't. It, it, I'm telling y'all, it happens every time. I, I think I talk to y'all about this every time I come down here. Every time I come home, I'm faced with a reality that in 2022, racism is still just as live and well here in this part of the country. Or basically anywhere in the world, I'm guessing. Um, because if it's still wide and rampant here, it's like that everywhere. To some degree. Mm, I never agree with, or uh, no, never. I wish that none of my nieces and nephews, sisters, brothers, whatever, whatever, my daughter, grandchildren throughout life, whoever. I wish that none of us had to deal with such ignorance in the world anymore. But we do. That's the sad thing about it. It's 2022, you know. But some people are still ignorant. They just are. They just really are. They just are. Some people need such things as racism to make themselves feel better about themselves. You know, you're a failure in your own class of people. So the only thing that make you feel better is to try to pick on another class of people. That's crazy. But one thing about it, my brother's just like I am. Don't you start them. But if you do have to enter into something physical, you better not lose. At all costs. Handle your business. I'm serious. I tell Pooh State that all the time. Pooh State that all the time. You don't start now fight. But if you have to fight, you better make sure you finish it. You better make sure you finish it at all costs. Because I'm that same way. I'm not letting you hurt me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Me and the law may have to question later what I did the right thing. But one thing I'm going to be able to do is talk to the law because I ain't going to be hurt. I'm not if I can help it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because a racist person will hurt you. You know, I mean, words is one thing. I'm with that. You know, somebody says something to you out of the way, you go report that. That's one thing. But if somebody put their hands on you, especially, and they they saying racial, racial things and put their hand on you, baby, you better mop the floor with them. You better mop the floor with them. Don't give them a chance. Because they, they already have hatred for you. Even though you might not you might not dislike them at all, but they have a hatred for you already. So if you think they won't hurt you, you crazy. Mm-mm. Yeah, I hate that. I really do. I really, really do. Mm-hmm. I really hate that. I really, really do. Um, she still got some form of punishment, but at the same time, I'm proud of her. I am. I hate that she's out of school in any kind of way for any length of time, you know, especially, you know, for fighting. Because that kind of stuff goes in your records. It does. But at the same time, you just can't, you just cannot allow people to walk around and do such things to you. You just can't. Because if she had to let it get away yesterday, that would have happened over and over and over and over again. But anyway. No, oh, I hate I had to talk about it today, but it is something that happened currently of someone in my family. But at least I'm getting to talk about it over here. Stay glory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate that, y'all. And this just happened yesterday. This ain't something that's old. This just happened yesterday. You know, my own niece. Mm-hmm. 
And she's a joyous person. You know, she's a she's she's a child, you know, a teenager, but I just hate that even today in this day and time that after all that our ancestors have went through, all that we fought through as a people, that our children still have to deal with racism. The ignorance of someone thinking that their skin color makes them superior to another person. That is so stupid. However, you know, that's a fact of the, the world we live in. It's just y'all. Mm-hmm. Anyway, y'all. I cleared about half of them, honey. I did. Uh, we will have children to come. Do you hear me? Y'all, to be honest with you, to be perfectly honest with you, if I wanted to, and this is no joke, you may not believe me, but I'm telling you the truth. If I really wanted to, and I had a left the cold saw completely off, and not took a bite of it, y'all, I probably could have ate every chicken on this plate. Mm-hmm. I mean, laid up, blood pressure. I'm telling you, blood pressure would have been on 993. <laughs> but I probably could have ate these chicken. I tell y'all that every time I had these 10 pounds of him, I can literally, I can really eat 10 pounds of chicken. I can. The only thing about it is, yeah, because of the show, I put them all up here at one time. And if you eat chitlins, you know how it is. When chitlins begin to cool, you know, the, the the juice that they're in begin to thicken. And it's just not good that way. You know what I mean? But if I can have them continuously brought over him in sections, and they be hot. Baby, I could have wore these chitlins out. Hell, I done wore out by half of my room. But anyway, y'all. Y'all, I'll just decide. I'm finna get up out of here, but I want to tell y'all something. Because racism is so real and it's so still prevalent in certain parts of the world. Y'all talk to your children. Uh, whichever side of the coin that you're on. You know what I mean? Um, talk to your children and let them understand. Uh, you'll make them understand that this stuff is not cool. And for all of you guys, uh, on this side of the coin, and, and, and you know, you know, you have, uh, you know, you're a part of the African American race. Uh, um, any race that is considered to be a minority and is a target of racism, talk to your children. Make sure that they know that this type of stuff is dangerous, and that. Especially they at school, on the jobs or whatever, that these type of things need to be reported. And these type of things need to have a, you know, a record of um, incidences, especially at school. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you, I tell Pusa all the time, baby. I, t I promise you, as young as she is, um, she knows what racism is. She knows what it's about. She's watched. I've, I, I, I have shown her documentaries. I talked to her about her ancestors and where she came from over and over and over and over again. As a matter of fact, Mr. Burn is one of Pusay's favorite, uh, you know what I'm saying, a movie in this genre. But now we've never sit down and watched Roots from the beginning, and maybe we should, but we haven't. We watched some here and now, but maybe, you know, that's a long time for a small child to be sitting down trying to watch that whole entire series. But Talk to your children and make sure they understand that this stuff is not cool and it's not right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they understand that just because another person feels that you're less than it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. Um, but definitely make them understand the danger of racism in the world. Because a racist person will hurt you. Because they already have hatred in their hearts for you. They already do. For no reason other than you just being the color that you are. But anyway, y'all, I'm thinking about here. I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. I'm finna get up out of here, honey. I'm finna go back up in here and warm these chillies. Right on back up, honey, so I can eat me some more chili. Anyway, y'all, I love you guys so, so much. I sure you do, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. So I'm my new lead jet. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen to be us in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm my existing lead jet. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. Y'all got the heat girls out there. So many chillies. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember, 
And there's always more than one way home. All you just have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh. Woo, y'all, them chillers was good. Hey, they was so good. They was so good. Baby production gonna come home to some chillings. Baby, he gonna be so ready. I know he am. I just say y'all when I talk to y'all about today though, for real, y'all, this stuff is still real. Racism is still real in this world, and there's still a lot of fools out there. And they feel like the way they think and the way that they were raised or whatever hatred that was built into them is the correct way to live life. Please make sure that your children understand and know what to do. Just like we teach our children what to do with the police or what not to do with the police, you also need to teach your children what to do in racist situations. You know what I'm saying? You can't come encounter, you know, come into, yeah, encounter a racist person. You know what I'm saying? Blatantly racist, um, calling you names, physically doing things to you, hitting you with things and things like that, and then turn your back and walk away. Now, you got to be leery of them type of things. You need to teach them how to engage and diffuse these type of situations, or uh, how to recognize these type of situations, you know what I mean? And get the property, the proper authoritarian figures involved to make sure that they're safe. Does, if that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense to you or not. But what I'm saying is, they're in school, they need to get with the principal. You know, if they're on their job, they need to get with the manager or, or whoever. You know what I'm saying? But those type of things are not to be taken lightly. Y'all, it's 2022, and like I said, we're still dealing with fools out here. Um, they think just because of the color of their skin, it makes them superior to someone else. And that could be nothing further from the truth. Okay? So anyway, y'all, I'm thinking about him. I love y'all. Peace. Bye.